Second line. Favourite now, Ginger Jam at $3 and a dollar forty. Three thirty now, Ginger Jam. In fact, three thirty Barasco, three dollars Ginger Jam. Set ready. Racing up with the lid, Ginger Jam. A bit of early speed here with Little Miss Crunch and out wide of the track. There we go to Armistice Day as they charge past us. Looking for a bit of racing room. The rail, Taylor Rose. Let's pick him up again. Taylor Rose puts a couple on them. Two or three now. Ike Jones out of the pack. Then we go back that out of Nose White, Ginger Jam. Trying to kick into the race as Armistice Day. Followed back there now by Barasco. It's inside Mr. Lachlan. And last of all there, Little Miss Crunch. Off the top they cover. This is absolutely flying. Taylor Rose in front. And will skip away the first of pick six. Second and Ginger Jam second again. Ike Jones followed back by Barasco. Uh, then we go to uh, the uh, Mr. Lachlan. Armistice Day knows White was back there. And uh, the tailor there was Little Miss Crunch. Off gone. Catch me if you can. Was the uh, yellow rug of uh, Taylor Rose. Just uh, jumped and kept on running. He's done the job with ease here. Opened them up six or seven down the back. And has uh, held that advantage to the line. Very good uh, performance here. That's the thing, just uh, making her own rules, and she did today. She hopped off and raced away. Did um, the uh, yellow Taylor Rose 510 $1.90 from the hop. You can see the favourite to the Ginger Jam, just a little bit slow speed coming with the six arms this day, and how wider there was uh, uh, Taylor Rose. They went to the first bend. What happened here? Uh, going to the first bend, pretty clean, the two, the six, and there's just Taylor Rose just driving up and angles the rail there and got up underneath them going into that first bend, and she's raced away. And So up goes that second line, LaRue up on the outside. It's the last one down for Tracy Craig, and we're ready. The eighth of the day. And Bunny about to roll forward. Set and ready. Just about there. And racing, getting away nicely here. Middle of the pack was Lachlan's Devil tracked on every stride by LaRue up there too as Gems Conquest, barely possible. The rail opening up here for Monty Dosh. Bit of trouble getting a bit of a shuffle towards the tail of the field. There was uh, uh, Gems Conquest was back there. LaRue back there also, but they swing. Lachlan's Devil's got him in trouble. Down the outside, Monty Dosh. Lamo. Moddy Dosh, then we go pretty close here. We've got a par with Johnny. Uh, still kicking away there was Lachlan's Devil. Uh, they followed to further back in transit here in a tight old go. Uh, but we would have had uh, LaRue was getting home late to further back in transit. Barely possible. Jim's Conquest uh, was back in that pack as well. Monty Dosh over the top and we'll get you home here. He had the favourite in the previous with Ginger Jim. But he gets you home here with a Monty Dosh. The big strides unwinding down the outside the three. Four's had him shot off the top, Lachlan's Devil. And then they've come charging, the two and the three. And it will be the three to beat the two. Look, he's in front there still. And he's starting to pogo a bit, isn't he, Lachlan's Devil? And they just come charging the three down the outside. Monty Dosh. Then we go the way of the two, the four and the eight. 18 and 82 was the winner's time, running 14 and 19. And that first split to not up three quarters by one. So here they are from the start and four uh, straight to the lead here. And that was Lachlan's Devil. And uh, from there on, they just come charging after it off the top. It had a big break on them here, didn't it? Lachlan's Devil will be much improved with that run under its belt for sure. So I'm sure he'll be improved with that run there. But in the meantime, uh, running along the inside. Up comes Starbound, Newton Willow, Uncle Romilly, 7 iron off the outer. He's closed off favourite in the end, all in all, at a 291.50. Off the three, set and ready. Just about there racing, all in all a bit slow, bit of early speed here. Sarge's one crosses, finds the lead here now from Starbound along the inside of runners. There we go to all in all, round the outside there now is Seven Iron. That's followed a length or two back by thread. It's a compact field. Uncle Romilly, Newton, Willow back there as well. And last of all, their Diva Road. Down the back they go and Sarge's one. The run's coming in behind there. Starbound threat looks for room. That's followed down on the inside here by Uncle Romilly. Further back in transit, running on is Seven Iron. They swing for home. It's going to be all the way, all right, Sarge's one. Good girl. Then we go to Starbound. That's been followed here now by Uncle Romilly and Threat. Threat's been followed further back by Seven Iron, Diva Road, and back there too. Uh, would have been all in all. Didn't see it out. Newton Willow back there as well. Find the lead and will be tough. Certainly was, wasn't it, to today? Number five, Sasha's one. Crossed them off the five and just kept running. And we'll do the job here. I thought they are going to pick it up off the top, but it's found some more. Starbound's gone a cheeky old race as well from the two. 
And in behind there is the six of Uncle Romilly and down on the inside, dog number one in threat. But five, the two, the six, and the one, the officials as they go to the line here in race number nine, just jump nicely. Uh, Sash has won, and she's found the lead very, very well into that first bend out wide, the track seven iron, and down on the inside, there we go to all in all star bound. And further back, a good run here from uh, dog number six, Uncle Romilly, last on settling there, has ended up running third as we watch some charge out of the bend. But uh, honours... Lockenvar, Brando, Catcher, Fire, Wabi, Sabi. Favourite stepping the three, Thrilling Butcher. Set and ready, Bunny rolling forward. Just about there. Off. Thrilling Butcher gets away very slowly. Early speed here going the way of Catcher Fire and Bublin Gold in the inside of runners there. We've got Jets and Blaze followed down on the paint there now by Thrilling Butcher making a charge. That's followed a length back there by Zamdato Lock and Var Brando and towards the tail of the field. Magic Fancy Wabi Sabi. Off down the back they go and Catcher Fire on fire. Here comes the Butcher. Further back there now is Bublin Gold. They followed a length or two back there now by Zamdato Lock and Var Brando on the corner. Catcher Fire. Thrilling Butcher starts to unwind. Little Catcher Fire. Shivers. Thrilling Butcher, catch a fire. Either way, I don't know. Um, I don't know either here. Lockenvar, Brando and Bublin Gold uh, followed further back here now by... Uh, who do we have there? Jetson Blaze, Zamdato, Magic Fancy. And uh, towards the tail of the field would have been Wabi Sabi. Head up, head down. Noses up, noses down. Thrilling Butcher, last dab. Still kicking, catch a fire, giving plenty of lip. Let's have a look here. He's going to loom up and just go straight past it, but she's dug deep. She jumps. She's always tough to beat. Head up, head down. No, he's, no, he's home. He's home by a mile. Yep, he's in. He's in. Three over the six. And well, mind you, that camera's all flight and so are why. But uh, uh, I think it's three, six, five, and four uh, as they've gone to the wire here. In fact, they put it up three, six, five, and four. 30 and 57. Got there by a neck. Half a mile, uh, two and three quarter lengths. Uh, the head up, head down, go. He's had to do. He doesn't like this track as he likes as much as he likes. So last couple go down on the eleventh of the day. We're ready to go. Bunny rolling forward, set and ready, just about there. Off. Positivity away. OK. Early speed here. Where's Carlos? Kicking along the inside there is Positivity. Round the outside of runners. There we go to Berrydale. Bullet. They've followed a length or two back by Wheezy Appeal. It's outside. Is Stat Me up towards the tail. Utah bolted last of all there. Opawa Sasha on the corner. Kicking along the inside here is Where's Carlos? We'll get you home. Then we go to Positivity. Followed out wider here by Utah Bolt. Stat Me up was still there. Uh, kicking uh, towards the tail of the field there was we. Uh, to uh, Opawa Sasha was back there and uh, Stat Me Up was in that uh, pack also on crossing at last the pace making Berrydale Bullet mm, just jumped and kept running didn't it, where's Carlos upgrading didn't uh, worry it one little bit uh, today and the money went late on it jumped across them and has done the job Wheezy Appeal just missed away but tried to drive up and there was nowhere to go uh, 7 will beat the 1, the 8 and the 3 18.64 three by a half the official margin Sanders has got away nicely where's Carlos putting three together just to raced up through the glades so the twos and into the threes will go to the fours after that performance here this afternoon uh, by where's Pedro from physical another for the O'Regan team going good at the moment too jumped crossed and he's just been too strong just having a wheezy appeal just missed away look for a bit of a weave just didn't have the speed to go with him in the early rush did it uh, wheezy appeal this dog's done it and done it nicely seven one eight and three eighteen sixty four uh, there for it and that runner was 14.05 um, just off the top we missed that so box and set the last bunny rolling forward Ibiza fling your favourite from the blue set ready Racing slow away there would have been CKD early speed up wide here. Knock, knock, lady up between runners. Ibiza fling rail there now for Vit Rosso. Followed the outside there by Lachlan. A length or two back we go. Major Tom CKD. It's outside showing baby Mr. Majestic on the corner swinging foam. Ibiza fling will get you home all right. Ibiza fling in here now from Vit Rosso. Followed out wide of the track here by Knock, knock, lady CKD. Late there in photos. Uh, further back in transit we would have had there Lachlan. Show him baby Mr. Majestic. 
And Major Tom will be the last one home. Just having a look over there, I uh, hear a bit of screaming going on. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, watch them fly off the lid here. And Bit Rosso got away well out wider. There goes at Knock Knock Lady. And there's your favourite whipping into the race now, Ibiza Fling. And that was a short way home in the pick six. And it gets you home all right. Four, three, five, and the two, 18 and 68. Two by one and a half, splits 461. And your run in was a 14.07. So, number four in the event jumps fairly. Uh, the early speed went the way of the five. So, there's the four of the five coming out to the five out wide, the four locked up between them. Down on the rail, we've got to Major Tom Bit Rosso in a cheeky old race. It was a much improved run by that runner. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, the five to the lead round. The other used a bit of track, didn't he? I beat the flick. Uh, but uh, has been just too strong. Knock, knock, lady, the early pace maker has held on for that uh, third placing. I beat the fling by Bombastic Shiraz. Sees, uh, sees the moment from the Schofield Kennels, beating the three bit Rosso, Haley Malane.